Hey guys, welcome back to the Wild Dog Project 365, episode 601. Today we're finally getting around to that ankle mobility. I promised you guys about a week and a half ago. If you guys remember back a couple weeks, uh, a couple episodes ago, we um, we did some testing for ankle symmetry. We were looking at mobility into plantar flexion. We we're testing left versus right ankles, making sure that they were pretty close to equal. Okay. So if you guys weren't, or if you need to work on your ankle mobility, we're going to start out with a couple uh, mobilizations throughout the course of this week. We'll see how we get through with the open going on and whatnot. Good luck to all you guys that are out there about to participate. Anyway, onwards to the stuff. If you guys remember, a while back I showed an ankle test at which um, what we did is we wanted to see how far we can get our toe away from the wall and still drive our knee all the way to the wall without our heel raising, right? And we said that was a good way to test. Well, we're going to use that test as a mobilization today. What we're going to use is that same maneuver, right? So we're going to bring our toe um, however far, hopefully, about six inches, but however far it takes for it to get away to it. As we drive our knee to the wall, our heel comes up, okay? So in this case, I'm able to make it here. I come out about another inch or so, and my heel starts raising up as I get my knee to the wall. That's the position in which I want to start in. Except now what I'm going to do is I'm going to get myself a moderately heavy, heavy kettlebell. Okay, this one's a 70 pound one. Uh, the girls might want to be able to get away with 55 or so. Um, some guys might even want to go a little bit heavier than that. And what you notice what I did is I brought the kettlebell all the way to the crotch of my hip, right? And that's going to give me some more weight posteriorly. I've shown this similarly with the band, but we don't always have bands. So we have to show uh, different strokes for different folks here. Now what we're going to do here is we're going to get our knee all the way to the wall. And I'm just going to hang out here. If my heel raises up just a little bit, what I'm going to let this kettlebell do is just do its work. Let gravity do its work. I'm going to sink down just a little bit. And I'm going to let my heel settle down onto the ground right there. Okay, I'm going to hang out here for about two to four minutes or however long it takes that heel to get set onto the ground. Okay. From right there, if I have to, I can mobilize uh, by coming in and out. Like say, I can't accumulate two minutes all at once, that's fine. I come back into uh, a more 90, 90 degree position, and then I'm gonna go ahead and settle right back in, okay? But it allows me to put pressure from my toe and my knee through my heel, so the pressure is going back this way, down the angle of my shin because of the weight of the kettlebell, okay? I hang out there, I let gravity do its work, and it's a great way to use just a weight if we don't have bands to get that uh, ankle mobility that we're looking for. Guys, I hope this helps you out. Uh, if I didn't say so already, good luck into the Open. That's coming up in just a couple of days now. Uh, man, it came up fast. Either way, guys, until tomorrow, we are optimizing function to optimize performance. <laughs>